Hi guys, this is an unedited video of this power box that I built. And it's based on a lot of ideas that I got watching various YouTube videos of people who have built them. Many build them in ammo cases using a lot smaller batteries. But I decided I wanted a truly uh, high capacity battery that I could use in emergency situations. So I built this around a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that was manufactured by Power Queen, which came with pretty high recommendations from various YouTube videos I saw. So the heart of the system is a West Mountain Radio Epic Power Gate control unit. And the Epic Power Gate has a built-in MPPT solar controller. It also has inputs for a power supply and the um, outputs goes to goes to a battery and it can switch back and forth and either the solar or the power supply can charge the battery. So the inputs are down here. The first one is for a solar connection and I've chosen to use uh, Anderson power poles for most all my connections. So that's the solar one. And then the power supply is here. I know it's a little dark, but I think you can see it. And then right in the center between the two is an on-off switch. And I'll just, it's off right now, I'll flip it on. And what it does is it isolates all my circuitry. So when it's off, like it is now, I can plug a power supply in or a solar charge, solar panel, and it will charge the battery, but nothing else happens. If I flip this switch up, then that powers all the other circuits. So going up to the top of the box, I have a switch here that will turn on these two um, circuits here. And this one has a USB-C and a QC3 connection. This one has two standard USB um, charging circuits, 4.8 amps. And so this switch over here will turn those on and off so it doesn't draw power if I'm not using them. Then down below here, I have two Anderson power poles there two Anderson power poles there, so a total of four different uh, devices can draw power, and then a standard cigarette lighter connection there. I did not put a binding post banana plug connection because I wanted the surface, top surface to be smooth and not have any protrusions. Over on this side is an LED light, so it turns on a series of four LED lights that will give me light in in the evenings. So I will open this up and show you the, the guts of it. So that's the Power Queen battery. And over here, it's kind of tucked in there, it's hard to see, is the Epic Power Gate controller. And on the side here is the input for the power supply. Uh, there's the output to the case for all the connectors, and there's the battery connection. Now, the, there's also a connection on the side where I can monitor it with a computer. It's kind of hard here, but there's a plug-in down below there. This is also fused on both the negative and positive going to the Epic Power Gate. The other thing I've added is this amp meter and it will show me the total number of amp hours being drawn by the system so I can see how much power I've consumed out of the battery. There are several different types of fuse boxes. I chose to run all my circuits, both the positive and the negative, to the fuse box. There's a lot of people that will just daisy chain the negative all the way around, but I chose to bring each circuit to the fuse box, and that's just the way I do things. This connector right here, I can take the meter out of the circuit if I like, and then just plug the two 
Anderson power poles together. So that's an optional um, device that I leave in there. So that's pretty much my system. And uh, I think it'll work very well. Even though I'm primarily QRP when I'm mobile, it's nice to have the ability to operate QRO if I want to. And I've done some tested with tests with my uh, Elecraft K4, and I've run 50 watts for like two or three days CW with this battery, and I still had 20% of its capacity left. And the great thing about the um, lithium iron phosphates is for a 100 amp hour battery, you can run it down to you can consume almost 90 amp hours out of it and it'll still hold its voltage. Whereas a lead acid or a um, SLA battery, after about using 50% of its capacity, the voltage really drops. And that's why I chose the uh, lithium iron phosphate. These are one of the less expensive ones and I just got it on uh, Amazon. So that's the box.